This is not my first rodeo. I, I've been through this before. You sit there deciding who gets to see the doctor next, and, and the, the answer is me. I'm next. Mr. Coleman, there are people in front of you. My heart is beating inside my head. Find a magazine and please wait your turn. We've been through this. Tell me something. Uh, Leia, where's your heart? In your chest, right there, behind your bra. You step back now. Not mine. No, mine floated up my neck and it's beating inside my skull. It's just, it's beating inside my skull and it's driving me crazy. Please, man. Hey, hey. I need to sir. see a doctor. Excuse me. Excuse hey. me. No. April, get security. Sir. I need a doctor. Can someone please help me. Dr. Choi. Oh, oh. Sir, look at me. Wait, wait, wait. We need to get you back into the waiting room. I could have lied. I could have said that I had chest pains. You would have had to see me then, but I'm not a liar. Okay, okay. So why don't you just come with me? Come with me. It's okay. I just need someone to make it stop. Okay. It's, it's got to stop. We'll get to you as soon as we can. No! No! Oh, Uncle, somebody see me now! Hey, Dr. Charles. Got you. I'm not, ah, Mr. Coleman, I'm Dr. Oh, Troy. We need you to stay calm. Didn't help. It's, it's still pounding. He says his heart is pounding inside his head. Mr. Coleman, I need to examine your ear. I don't care about the ear. Ah, Let's get him something for the pain. Five of morphine IV, please. Got it. Mr. Coleman, I'm Dr. Charles, psychiatrist. Just because I'm a vet does not mean that I am a mental case. Well, you did walk in here and stab yourself in the head. Because no, no one would help me. Well, look, I, I just need to do a little evaluation, ask you a couple questions. I'll be all right. I'm not crazy. I'm not a drug addict. You're wearing six shirts? <sighs> yeah, but just one pair of pants. Why is that? Isn't it obvious? To muffle the sound of my heart. Uh, does it help? No, nothing, nothing helps. Please, somebody. Oh. You punctured the tympanic membrane and went into the middle ear. We can do the repair, it's called the tympanoplasty. Just listen to my heart. That's loud, right? Sounds normal to me. Oh, that can't be. You know, Mr. Coleman, I'm a vet too. I know something about PTSD. It's not that. I I saw combat, but I, I was okay. What happened? My convoy hit an IED. I took a bag full of shrapnel. That was it. Mind if I take a look? Looks like it was serious, I'm sorry. I was out of the hospital in a couple weeks. That was three years ago. I was doing fine. This thing with my head and my heart that started just six months ago. I wish I could tell you there's a physical reason for the problem. I can't see one. Mr. Coleman, this is Dr. Glass. She'll be supervising your care at the VA. Oh, fantastic. Nice to meet you. I heard the surgery was a success. No, it wasn't. I still hear the beating. Auditory hallucinations are complicated. It's not an hallucination. Whatever it is, we want to help figure that out. Now, Dr. Charles has contacted a psychiatrist at the VA. She'll follow up this afternoon. It's useless talking to you people. Dr. Choi, would you like to weigh in? It's possible Mr. Coleman's right. I think we should get a chest CT. Mr. Coleman, the CT scan we took of your chest showed a lot of scar tissue from your shrapnel wounds. So? It's 
not affecting your health or your heart functions, but the scar tissue has created a malformation which acts like an echo chamber. It amplifies the sound waves of your heart. I could see it affecting a dish of jello on your tray. So I was right. It is physical. Yes, the <laughs> vibration carries up to your inner ear. You really are hearing your heart pounding in your head. God, finally! So, what are you gonna do to make it stop? I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Come on, an, an, an operation, maybe? There's too much scar tissue. And it's too close to the heart. An operation just isn't feasible. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You gotta do something. This is driving me crazy. Listen to me. We'll talk to your nose and throat. See if there are any options. Please, please do that. Please. What, what, is, what are we doing? What is all this? There's something we'd like to show you. <clears throat> there. We wanted you to meet your brother in arms. Brother in arms? Yes. Your heart. Do you see how hard your heart is fighting for you? <clears throat> fighting to keep you alive. Mr. Coleman, we can't make you the person you were before. And dealing with this is going to be a long process. But it would help if you could begin to think about that pounding in your head in a different way. More like a reminder. A reassuring, comforting sound that your heart is there for you. 